And here we are at Hive 25. I will be interested to see how much of this second brood box they've started um, filling up with brood and or resources. Okay, there is a lot of activity in this second brood box. Uh, all right, frame on the outer edge. Only the smallest amount of work being done there. Next frame. Oh, there we've got work going on. Look at that. Bringing in nectar. Just, just starting to cap that off right there. Moving on to frame number three. Well, now that is a frame full of bees. There's that initial, yeah, this was an initial frame of brood that was in the lower chamber that was moved up to get the bees to start working it and to start drawing out comb in this box. And there's brood. It looks like it's being backfilled with nectar as opposed to being backfilled with eggs. This next frame, one, two, three, frame number four, it is clear that the bees have been drawing that out. Let's take a moment and see if they are filling it with brood or with honey. I would assume they're pretty close to needing brood space. Yeah, look at that. Eggs, just oh, brand new eggs right in the middle of those, which means they've been being laid in since they've not turned into larvae, they've been there within the last three days. The queen has placed eggs down there. Here we've got them drawing out comb on this section too. Not much work here. Not much work here either, to be expected. It's not been that long. Just getting started here on this side of this frame. Nectar. And very heavy with nectar on this side. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. You may see some bees here that are disgorging nectar that they have picked up from foragers. Foragers don't drop honey off themselves, but through a process known as trophallaxis, they share the nectar that they've stored in their crop and they bring it back to these transfer bees that then put it into here and you can see this is very actively being transferred i bet if we had a moment we would probably be able to see some dancing bees coming back with resources here to be put into that frame that's gorgeous now i uh, i have inspected this top brood chamber and we can see that the queen has been up here and is laying in it. So it's not just being used for honey. It is, uh, it is being extended as a second brood chamber. That is exactly what we want to see. What do we have here? Just a practice cell. Obviously you see that as a, as a typically a supersedure cell when the bees are wanting to make a new queen. Um, there is no jelly in there. Sticking right out from the middle of the frame like that is typically when the bees aren't happy with their queen and thinking about making a new one. But now at this point in a normal um, inspection of a hive, I really wouldn't have to go any farther. I've seen all of the evidence that I really need to see that the queen's been working hard. But I think, again, just to be thorough, I am going to lift this top brood box off and, uh, and take a look down into the second box as well. Okay. That box is of course not as heavy as it otherwise would be if it was full of wax and nectar. Oh, did I just pull a frame out? Nope. Missing a frame? 
That's interesting. Okay, well, it looks as though these bees have been working without a frame here. My assumption is they would have been trying to fill that all up with burr comb, but they haven't. Well, I will so. definitely go get a, a new box for them, or a new frame to put in this box. All Wait right, up. let's take a look here and see what we have. I'm going to start at this point, since, um, since it's missing a frame. And right there is the queen. Always lovely to watch a hard-working mother bee like that. Take a quick look at the other side. Yeah, back filling there looks nice. I'm gonna wait for her to move off of that edge of the frame. I don't want to inadvertently cause a problem here. You can see she's right on the edge and that just feels like a little dangerous place to me. Okay, heading up towards the top, that's perfect. Okay, so before I box this up, I'm going to go ahead and grab another frame and fill in this missing spot. Uh, all right, I found a wooden frame with a piece of plastic foundation in it, partially drawn out. That should be perfect to fill in the space here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still one frame shy. Looks like my Counting skills are not what they used to be. Let me go get yet one more frame. All right, Hive 25. Here we have a couple of new frames for you to work on while you're here. And that is Hive 25. Inspected and back in business.